Hey YouTube, it's me Ronnie, and today I'm going to be talking about my new bag, which is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag, and this is in the size mini. So if you're interested in hearing about this bag, then just stay tuned. So I purchased this Marc Jacobs tote bag in the color Argan. This is the size mini. So this bag retails for $3.75. They have two other sizes, two larger sizes. They have a size small, which retails for $4.50. And then they have the large leather tote, which retails for $5.50. So I purchased it in the mini because I like small bags. And even though it's small, this bag does pack a punch. It does hold a lot. I purchased this optional shoulder strap as well. This one's only $100. Let me get closer so you can see the details of the strap. So I purchased this strap as well. It has like a nice, not braided, but y'all know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> detail. And it has pink in it, which I thought was really cute. And then this is the bag up close. I'm sorry if you hear noises in the back. That's my little kitties. They're playing around right now. So yeah, this is the bag. You cannot tell me that this bag is not freaking beautiful. On the back, it has another little, a little tag on it. it. Just says the Marc Jacobs style tote bag location, New York City, year 1984. So you can wear it this way if you want to be discreet and not let people know that this is a Marc Jacobs bag, or you can just turn it right around and wear it like this. It did come with an actual shoulder strap that uh, matches the bag. Let me go grab that one for you guys. So this is the actual strap that came with the bag. As you can see, it's just a thin, thin strap, um, gold hardware, and it says the Marc Jacobs on it. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, but I felt like this strap was way too thin for the bag, so I purchased one of the thicker straps, which I absolutely love this strap. Um, let me just show you on my body. So for size reference, I am 5'3 and 3 fourths. They just wouldn't call me 5'4. So I'm going to just say I'm 5'4. <laughs> and then this is how it looks on my body frame. I think this is the perfect size for me. I do not like large handbags and I don't carry that much. So this mini size really works for me. Let me take the strap off. And I'm going to give you guys a size comparison. So right here, I have my Speedy 25 bandolier. And then I have this Marc Jacobs mini bag. And as you can see, they are pretty much the same size. So if you have a Speedy 25, you can use this as a size reference for the bag. And then I also want to show you the Michael Kors Selma bag. This I, I really want to say this is a Selma in the size small i think i did a video about this one in a small so it's a little bit bigger than the um selma from michael kors but as you can see they're pretty much in the same size family so if you have this bag as well then you can use that as a size guide so yeah once again let me just give you some detail in so this bag it has a zip top and then it has a top handle which i believe is really dope the zipper is a very long zipper so it zips all the way out and then you have this compartment here on the side to put the zipper it's a magnetic pull i don't know if you can hear that so yeah it magnetically holds to this part just so that it's not sticking out and all flabby it has this beautiful detailing on the front that just says the tote bag mark jacobs um, it looks like it's pressed in there, like heat stamped, but at the same time, it looks like you can peel that part off. So I'm not 100% sure how they did it, but yeah. So this is how it looks. The back cross is 10 inches, I believe this way. They said it was four inches. Um, so yeah, this is just some more detailing. You can see the stitching, how beautifully done it is like ugh, this bag feels like some good quality leather as well i love it let me show you the inside just so you can see how stuffed i have it i'm going to take everything that i have inside of it out just so you can see it like it holds a lot so let me go to what is in, inside of the bag so for starters i'm going to pull out my first makeup pouch this makeup pouch just holds all of my Lip products, I have all lip glosses, lipsticks, and things like that inside of here. Here's my little kitty, do you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to the camera? Can you say hi to the camera? Umi, 
Can you say hi to the camera? No? Okay. Are you gonna go? Okay. <laughs> so yeah. And then I am pulling out a second makeup bag. So this makeup, so these are like pencil. <laughs> these are pencil sized makeup bags. And inside of this one, I have like all of my just in case necessities. Like I keep lotions, I keep toothbrush, Vaseline, I have edge control. <laughs> Up in there, I have like floss and everything like that. I have um, band-aids. This is literally my just-in-case bag, like just in case I have an emergency or something like that. So, continuing to pull things out of the bag, I have my Kindle Paperwhite. The Paperwhite fits in there flawlessly, so that's a good thing. I have my um, Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Inside my pochette, I have uh, key clay. This is what I use for my coin purse. And then I just have like my everyday lip products, like whatever lip product I'm using then at the moment, which is just a lip gloss and some Carmex. And then I have some lotion, some hand sanitizer. And then that emptied out the main compartment of what I have in there. And then inside of the flap that comes with it, I have some gum and then I have my card holder and let me get these cats off my counter okay so like I was saying um that is it pretty completely emptied out I still have the card that comes with it I don't know if this is an authenticity card or a care card but I just keep that inside of the purse so as you can see this is what the inside of the purse looks like emptied out the inside is completely leather as well except for this flap this flap does have fabric on it but it just has this little slot where i keep the um, authenticity card or care card and then it has like the little slot where i keep my gum and then my card holder so yeah that is the inside of the bag it's pretty much just like a, a open compartment a little catch-all so it has the rings on the side for the strap and yeah as you can see like the bag is so spacious it's so perfect for me i love it I'm going so to this is an ipad pro 11 inch i purchased this ipad because i knew i had this bag coming well i was gonna get the ipad anyway but i was hoping that the ipad would fit inside of this bag and i've watched so many like reviews and so many unboxings about this bag but no one had an iPad to put in the bag so I'm here to show you how an iPad 11 inch pro fits inside of this bag keep in mind that the length of this bag is 10 inches and this is an 11 inch iPad pro so you can put the iPad in the purse let me take the, the thing out so it fits inside of the bag the 11 inch iPad Pro, it fits inside of the bag. The only problem is that it fits right in the middle. So you would have to put things on like either side of it. It won't stay flush to like one side. And then on top of that, you can, you can zip the iPad in there, but as you can see, it like distorts the shape. It doesn't lay flat or anything like that. So if you do have an iPad um, 11 inch or even a 12.9 inch, I would suggest you go size up and get a size small if you plan on carrying your iPad and using this as an everyday purse. So I'm gonna put everything back in here just so you can show, just so I can show you like how everything fits. So I have the one makeup pouch, two makeup pouch, my mini pochette, I have my lotion, my hand sanitizer, and then I have my gum, my card holder, I have my Kindle Paperwhite, and then aside from that, I'm going to go grab my keys so you can see how that fits as well. So this is my Louis Vuitton six ring key clay. And then I have an iPhone 12 Pro. So I'm going to put both of these in here as well. So this is everything inside of my purse. And let me zip it up for you guys. And as you can see, it zips flawlessly. And so this is the bag stuffed to the brim. This is pretty much 
how I carry it every single day. I wear this back to work, so all of these items are pretty much my necessities. I need that Kindle for when I'm bored at work, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a pretty heavy bag, so I wouldn't suggest carrying all of these items if you're like going to the mall or you're going on a just a day of like walking around. I carry this bag into work, sit it down for the t amount of time I'm at work, and then same carry it when I'm going out, so I don't mind the weight of it. But yeah, you can pretty much stuff it. Let me put this strap. Let me talk a little bit more about the strap. So this is the detailing on the strap. Marc Jacobs, they have all types of different straps. They have thinner ones as well. But it just has this, like, uh, I can't think of the, the word for it right now. But it is leather detailing. It just says the Marc Jacobs. And it has gold hardware. And I saw a YouTuber um, do a review on the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag and she bought this strap for it and I thought it looked perfect so I went ahead and bought the same strap for it. This is the bag. Let me put it crossbody. So just so you guys can see. The strap does go longer but I don't like it long. I like my strap short. So yes, this is the bag. And uh, here is this. I'm going to give you guys some mod shots as well. But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are thinking about getting this bag, I 100% recommend it. This bag, it holds a lot without being huge. And it's super cute. This color is perfect for fall. They have other colors. They have it in white, black, and red. And then they also have cloth versions. I got the leather just because I thought it would, like, you know, last a little bit longer. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.